President Trump is wrapping up his nine-day foreign trip, and there's word of progress on trade talks at the G7 summit. After the second day of the meeting, President Trump will head for home. Margaret Brennan's traveling with the president in Sicily. Margaret, good morning. Good morning. The president's first foreign trip ends with apparent fractures in the U.S. alliance with the world's great democratic powers after having begun the trip with a message of unity in the Middle East. The president will leave here as the only leader refusing to promise to abide by the Paris climate change agreement to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Yet White House officials say his views on that issue are evolving after having heard direct appeals from allies like the U.K., Japan and France. And Mr. Trump is expected to make a decision in the coming weeks. One point of agreement is counterterrorism. All nations here promise to improve coordination and combat online terrorist recruitment. That security first message has been the president's central focus since going to Saudi Arabia last Saturday. The White House touts his outreach there to more than 50 Muslim leaders as a major accomplishment towards that goal. But time will tell whether all of that will ultimately be successful. Today, the president will go speak to U.S. troops at a nearby airbase before heading back to Washington. Anthony? Margaret Brennan traveling with the president in Sicily. Thanks.